Welcome back. Shamhash is going to tell Ninsun about why he is commanding Gilgamesh with his solar powers to desire to want to kill Humbaba. Okay, we're returning. Why did you afflict my son Gilgamesh with so restless a spirit, says Ninsun? For now you have touched him, and he will tread the distant path to the home of Humbaba to pace a to face a battle he knows not. He will ride a road he knows not during the days of his journey there and back until he reaches the forest of cedar, until he slays ferocious Humbaba and annihilates from the land the evil thing you abhor, Shamhas abhors Humbaba. Each day when you travel the circuit of the earth, May Aya, the bride, unfearing, remind you, entrust him to the care of the watches of the night. At eventide, you opened, O Shamhats, the gates for the herd to go out, for you came forth from the land. The uplands took shape, the heavens grew bright, the beasts of the wild, your ruddy glow. At the coming forth of your light is gathered the crowd, the divine Anunnaki await your brilliance. May Aya, the bride, unfearing, remind you, entrust him to the care of the watches of the night. Also, while Gilgamesh travels to the forest of cedar, let the days be long, let the nights be short, let his loins be girt, let his strides be sure. Let him pitch at nightfall, a camp for the night. Let nighttime, may Aya the bride, unfearing, remind you the day Gilgamesh and Ankudu encounter Humbaba. O oh, Shamhash, rouse against Humbaba the mighty gale winds. South wind, north wind, east wind, and west wind. Blast, counter blast, typhoon, hurricane, and tempest. Devil wind, frost wind, gale and tornado. Let rise thirteen winds and Humbaba's face darken. Let the weapons of Gilgamesh then reach Humbaba. After your very own fires are kindled, at that time, O Shamhash, turn your face to the supplicant. Your fleet-footed mules shall bear you onwards. A restful seat, a bed for the night, shall be what awaits you. The gods, your brothers, shall bring food to delight you. I, of the bride, shall wipe your face dry with the fringe of her garment. Wow. That's quite a prayer. Again... Wild cow Ninsun made her request before Shamhash. O oh, Shamhash, will not Gilgamesh the gods? Will not he share the heavens with you? Will not he share the moon and scepter and crown? Will not will he not grow wise? Will he not grow wise with Aya of the ocean below? Will he not run with your Nina, the black-headed people? Will he not dwell with Ningishta, the land of, in the land of no return? Let me make him O Shamhash, lest he, lest he, in the forest of the cedar. After Wild Cow Dunson had charged Shamhash thus, comes this. Wild Cow Ninsun was clever and wise, well versed in everything. The mother of Gilgamesh, she smothered the censer and came down from the roof. That was, she went down, she went to the holy place where the gods live in the top of the temple, the top of the ziggurat, the big mountain. You know that phrase, if we cooperate together, we can move mountains? Well, that literally happened like 5,000 years ago. People created artificial mountains that gods lived on. It's pretty special, pretty special thing. <laughs> Wild Cow Ninsun was clever and wise, well versed in everything. Mother of Gilgamesh, she smothered the censer and came down from the roof. She summoned Ankudu and declared her will. Oh, mighty Ankudu, you are not sprung from my womb, but henceforth your blood will belong with the votaries of Gilgamesh, the priestess, the hieroduls, and the women of the temple. She put the symbols on Ankudu's neck. The priestess took in the foundling, and the divine daughters brought up the foster child. Ankudu, whom I love, take for my son. Ankudu, in brotherhood, Gilgamesh shall favor him. Also, while you travel together in the forest of cedar, let the days be long, let the nights be short, and let your loins be girt and your stride be sure. At nightfall, pitch a camp for the night. Let protect 
After another lacuna, there follows an episode in which Gilgamesh and Ankudu apparently perform rituals in aid of safe journey, but it remains very badly damaged. Okay, ready for some word salad? Gilgamesh, his to the gate of the cedar, Ankudu in the chapel, and Gilgamesh in the chapel of Juniper Incense, members of the were present. By the command of Shamhash, you will attain your desire. In the gate of Marduk, on the breast of the water, the back, in the gate of the cedar knot, Gilgamesh and Ankudu, at twenty leagues, you should break bread. After a long lacuna, Gilgamesh gives instructions for the running of the city in his absence. Ah, but uh, I'm going to stop there because at twenty leagues, you should break bread. Oh. I have a surprise for you.